welcome hi thanks for visiting the tech ark it youtube channel please consider supporting me by subscribing to this channel i love sharing knowledge however it takes a lot of my time and effort please join the channel so that you will get early access to the content and special courses only available for the joined members which are not available to the public if you are enjoying my content please spread the learning by telling your friends family and co-workers about the tech ark it youtube channel if you are looking for the training you can contact me on my email address a ravikumar48 at gmail.com are you looking for help in linux storage and monitoring related projects join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are in description below let's understand the proxmox virtual environment user access so how you can provide the access and what are the user types we have and uh, how the workflow works on the user administration let's see here so what is actually a user access on the proxmox uh, proxmox stores the uh, user attributes in slash etc slash pv slash user dot cfg so that is the configuration file the user configuration passwords are not stored here uh, basically it's not stored on the cfg file users are instead associated with the authentication realms described below so those are the uh, realms example that pam pve ldap uh, ad so th there are a few uh, realms will be uh, supported by the proxmax therefore a user is often internally identified by their username and real name in the form of uh, user id at the right realm so example say that if you create the local user uh, at uh, a pam so the user id is uh, username uh, and uh, at the rate the uh, real uh, name so that is the uh, actually user is identified as a uh, user so let's see actually how the user authentication works here so basically what we do is that we create the roles so multiple roles here i specified the two roles as an example here the pve admins and maybe a pve sys admin so there are the two roles so the rules has the privileges associated with the roles so example i created the pve admin so what the, the admins should have the access so you, you can assign the privileges like this is admin uh, and the uh, virtual machine creation all this stuff you can assign to that roles so the roles has the permissions uh, the permissions can be either assigned to the groups or the users so example that you can join the uh, users as to the permissions or the groups to the permissions uh, here you have the authentication realm example it might be a pam or pve ldap ad or any identity identifier the um, user identifier or the authentication system so that uh, actually works so what we do is that we create the roles and the we can assign the permissions so these are the roles and they create the group maybe you can join the user to the group and associate this group with the roles so that the whatever the users are joined and that group will have that uh, users assigned to that particular role either you can assign these direct roles to the users as well so that they can get the same similar privileges so either of that you can do that so create a user in any real m okay user can help in multiple groups so user can be in multiple groups example uh, uh, you can join into the group one group two group three something like that or maybe you can join into the users group admi administrators group so on so on and assign permissions to the group or users so you can assign the permissions to the groups or the users or users can join to the permissions or uh, groups can also join to the permissions create roles with the required privileges so you have to create the role with the required privileges 
assign the roles to the groups or the users so that's how the uh, authentication mechanism works on this uh, virtual environment the data center you have the users okay so here what I, I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create the new user and say here my username is uh, a Ravi and uh, if you have the group so assign the group so as of now I do not have any group just leave it as and uh, the first name I say Ravi here and my email address and it should be enabled and what is the comment here Ravi Kumar Proxmax administrator let's say add and you can see that the user is added with the authentication type is PAM real name is PAM but if you try to change anything you say that this is not set any password here if you say try to set the password what happens so it says that change the password is failed because the Ravi does not exist over here so it says that you cannot able to see anything so Ravi it says Ravi is not exist but it is exist here so PAM in the sense the PAM is the user which should be available on the host level so like here which in this if you go to slash etc slash password file and see the user is not available over here so PAM authentication works in a different manner is that so PAM is enabled on the host level the uh, host level in the sense the node level on the PVE then you have to add the user here then the same user can be added on the console to provide the access so it works in a reverse manner so first you have to add here add user and say a Ravi and uh, provide the password and provide the password and say full name I say Ravi Kumar and room number maybe something and one two three four five something like this and home phone number whatever it is and uh, that is say yes then say yes now you can see cat slash etc password so there is a user is created okay now if you go back to the users and here you can see this and if you want to reset the password so now it should work you can see it is working so that's how the PAM user authentication box so but I have created the user but I did not provided any access so how it works so let's go ahead and log out this and log in with the a Ravi here and provide the password and select the authentication is PAM and say login now you can see you could able to see the data center and its host but nothing is visible you can see it does not have anything here so there is no AP tokens no authentication is in nothing is working okay so we have to provide some permissions to that particular user how we can provide that use particular user so first of all what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a new group so let's say which is going to be a admins so these are the administrators okay I just created here options here and edit here and assign the group so the group is assigned now you can say okay but still I did not assign any role for this to the group and the user is assigned with the group but uh, the group does not have any permission so how you can assign you just go to the permissions over here and say add and group permissions so you can provide any of this permissions level so what level of the permissions the user should have okay so as of now I am providing everything and I say admins and uh, you can provide any access here so by default I am just providing the administrator access and propagate I can see the slash path access 
and the role is administrators and propagation is true okay so now which is enabled and the user has the access to the group which means that they assign the permissions to the group now let's log out and log in back with the user a ravi okay so maybe password is wrong yeah i can see now good able to see everything here because i have assigned the root the administrator privileges over here now i can again log out back and log in with the root account and now what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to create the new user with proxmax v authentication server okay. add the user back again so let's say here i'm just going to use the same group and kumar ravi so whenever you select the proxmax v authentication so it will ask the password over here itself and say kumar ravi administrator from yes say something like this and yes so you can see now the real m is pve pve in the sense which will have the pve authentication on this pve authentication module and now let's go and log out and log in with the ravi kumar user and you can see that it's able to successfully log in so you don't need to create any local user accounts on the shell or the pve server this is maintained its own authentication by the the services itself but uh, if you use the pam so the pam is a local account to the pve node so that's what so it should exit on exist on the uh, pve node then you can add the same on the data center level so that's about the uh, users for more updates click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications